Hello students. Today we start with the second poem, Wind by Subramanya Bharti. This poem describes the vagary of nature. Recently, on 2nd May 2020, many parts of Eastern India and especially West Bengal was hit by the cyclone of Amphan and today Maharashtra is going to face catastrophic Nisarga cyclone. The present poem describes devastating impact of the wind. Here the fierce and fiery wind is described. This wind destroys the weak, but it doesn't affect the strong people. Thus we get the message, if we are strong physically as well as mentally, we can face any adverse situation that comes in our, in our life. Now, we move to the first two lines of the poem. Wind, come softly, don't break the shutters of the wind. The poet appeals the wind to be very gentle and soft. He further requests, don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. He requests wind not to scatter the papers and not to fling the books. But the wind does not pay heed to the request of the poet. Instead, it continues with the devastation and the destruction. The poet feels very offended and he asks, There, look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. He just expresses his annoyance at the apathetic attitude of the wind. Here the wind is not at all ready to consider the request. Despite the perpetual pleas, repeated requests, the wind continues to wreak havoc. You brought rain again? You are very clever at oaking. Okay fun at the weaklings. The poet is very annoyed to see that once again wind is mocking at him. First of all, the wind refused to consider his plea to be gentle. But now, the wind has a very strong bond with its equally devastating companion that is heavy rainfall. Together they make fun of the weak people in the form of flood or deluge. Houses cave in and the people have to suffer a great loss. The houses which are weak, those houses collapse. Even the doors and the rafters and the windows, they also collapse. The devastating impact of the wind is equally felt by the weak people. Their lives are affected. They are no longer in the position to lead a comfortable life.
they are not even in the position to make both ends meet. Already their income is meager, very less. And in addition to that, another attack by nature is there. How do you feel these weak people can face the attacking or devastating nature who is determined to crush them? Then the poet says, the wind god winnows and crushes them all. Here winnows means separate the chaff. Thus, here, Chaff means the weak people. The gusty wind blows away the chaff that is the weak people. But it cannot affect the strong people or the strong grain. So adverse situations are going to be there in everyone's life. The only people who are going to emerge victorious or triumphant are the people who have strong will or who are steadfast. That is, they are not affected by the adverse conditions and they stay calm. The wind god would never do what you ask him to do. You repeatedly ask him to be gentle. You ask him to consider you. But he continues to devastate. You have no control over his whims and fancies. Mood swings for his typical nature. So we have to build our houses very strong. And we have to join the doors firmly. Here, the house means the human body. We all know a healthy mind resides in a healthy body. So if we want a wonderful thought process in our mind, we need to be physically strong. And here, the doors refer to our thought process. The people who are weak, they are pessimistic. Thus, their thought process is negative. On the contrary, the people who have joined the door strongly, that is, they have strong will, they have determination, these people can always weather any condition, weather face. They can combat every situation. Thus, here the message is, if you want to face the adverse situations or conditions, you need to be very strong. In all the circumstances, you need to be a man of grit and courage so that no difficulty can succeed in crushing you. We need to practice the body and make our heart steadfast. If our body is very strong and our heart is equally strong, the heart that is never ready to give in, accept defeat. The heart that has a die-hard attitude. A heart that is ready to face every challenge. Thus, the people who have grit, they only can emerge successful and victorious. If we are a man of strong will and a strong body, the wind is going to befriend us. So, wind will be our friend. And we know that 
a friend is someone who always stands by us a friend is someone who always helps us so here once the wind becomes our friend adverse situations will no longer be able to attack us instead adverse conditions would give us an opportunity to prove our mettle our strength remember the wind blows out weak fires weak people he makes strong fire roar and flourish grow so when there would be a strong wind only the weak people would be crushed because very easily they give up they feel i cannot face the situation some of them even take the extreme step they are not ready to face the difficulties or the challenges on the contrary the strong people in adverse situation maintain their calmness and this calmness helps them succeed recently in corona pandemic we have experienced the power of indians who have faced very strongly corona so remember one thing adverse conditions are going to be part and parcel of your life but you should never give up take every difficulty as a challenge and remember every problem has a solution if there is a problem there is a solution so during all the times you need to be very calm very composed and very optimistic but do you think just by saying you can be optimistic it's not possible for that very first you have to create a very strong base the strong base students for you is your education if you practice if you study in future you will be in the position to face every challenge so the poem gives us the message adversity can affect and crush only the weak but the strong willed people emerge victorious thank you